Following the youth-led revolt that ousted Tunisia's long-time leader, Zin al baidin Ben Ali, young people are mobilizing to try to move the country towards a functioning democracy. Many observers said the overthrow of Ben Ali in January helped break down much of the fear across the Middle East and North Africa in places with repressive regimes. Across the region, students and pro-democracy activists are continue to clash with and push authorities for reforms and concessions, often resulting in protests spilling over into violence. We, the students, are part of the national movement. We are an integral part of the national movement. Recent protest in Tunisia has prompted the government to implement a nighttime curfew to control the streets. Around half of Tunisia's population are under 30 years of age. This protester says the voice of the youth should not be ignored. We will continue to demand change until our demands are all met. Some in Tunisia are calling for an end to protests, while others, including state television, are saying some troublesome youth have been paid money to cause havoc. Some people are using Tunisian youths who have little political knowledge. It might be a particular party or movement who use them to further their goals. The National Youth Forum in Tunisia is bringing young political activists together. Political debates and party meetings were a taboo under the government of ousted President Ben Ali. Yuda Biljab, a youth leader, says the change in the political leadership means the youth no longer have to fear open meetings. We are all youth who have gathered together despite not knowing each other. Former President Zine El Abedin, Ben Ali's strength was in separating us. And now this is bringing us together. What we need is serious and real initiatives, opposite to what we have today. We can express our ideas and demand the youth to participate and present initiatives to help move Tunisia forward. Other activists in Tunisia say they believe there is an even bigger role to be played by their generation to help to ensure their nation makes a successful transition to democracy. Paul Ndihau, VOA News.